Hello students. Today we are going to continue with our with our previous lecture, Work Life and Leisure, Class Tenth History. In previous lectures, we studied uh, the city of London, how the industrialization process brought changes changes into the city, how the settlement problem was sorted out, and then transportation was added into the whole system. Today we will start with the social changes in the city. as we studied earlier that with the advent of many industries into the city people were migrating in the city in search of different work and labor activities because of advent of so much of population extra population inside the city boundaries this posed a problem of settlement first once that problem was sorted out then uh, they realized that people were now con uh, continuously in search of a lot of earning sources resulting both men and women were equally involved in economic activities this continuous struggle for earning more and more money led to a breaking of the social structure the family unit or the family ties they started breaking down the large joint families started breaking into nuclear families women uh, they if belong to the elite or the upper class they still enjoyed some amount of leisure time as they were provided domestic help by servants but uh, the middle class and the lower class women they had to continuously struggle to retain into the uh, economic rush and to earn enough to run their families and their lives resulting the struggle led to a breaking of the social unit on top of that another change was witnessed that because of advent of machinery lot of jobs were taken away from the people this also posed a challenge in front of the people how they would be earning their income sources the changes that occurred in the society affected both men women and the family unit the new mechanized system it Uh, encouraged a new formula a new system of life which was majorly based on individualism earlier what happened in the society was that if anybody was earning or anybody was able to get a resource they would share the resource with all the friends and family now the as the unit of the family has 
deducted to just the members, the main members, husband, wife, and children. The spirit of individualism started uh, embossing. But this individualism was not equally entertained and enjoyed by both men and women. There was a bias in the system. The bias majorly favored the men who were acting as the workforce, who were continuously engaged in movement, movements and were yearning to get a safe and secure life for their families. They also participated in movements which were initiated for rightful demands in the industries. For example, Chartism movement, which was a movement demanding vote for all adult males, and 10 hour movement, which was for limiting their working hours in the factories. This mobilization of a mass amount of men created a sense of unity and a sense of power, which brought them on the forefront. On the other hand, the women faced a different outcome. The women, on the other hand, were withdrawn into the houses, but still, because they had to earn their resources, they were continuously working from within the household boundaries. They were creating matchboxes, make washing clothes, tailoring, such kind of activities, which were supporting their family units. In the later years, when the world wars uh, started emerging we also realized that with the increasing demand of warfare goods women were majorly engaged in such kind of production and manufacturing so in later years they did earn a source of their own income but still the boundaries were set for them and they could not be seen in open areas or to gather uh, in open spaces or to participate in movements in a bulk. This whole social change brought changes in the market system as well. As the families were becoming smaller and smaller, the need uh, for a convenient life was sought by most of the families as they had to engage themselves into earning activities continuously. So they were looking for uh, gadgets and instruments which would reduce their workload. So we see that the market it became majorly uh, inclined and focusing towards the family unit and the family became the heart of new market of goods and services and of ideas. The next in line process that has to be done was once the families were settled, 
they were provided with a proper transportation system the family units were now having a proper system of chores for them to follow throughout the day this planning this procedure brought most of the part of the society into a chain of work that is most of the people would leave their houses in the morning for their work for their factories and would return uh, to their houses in the evening the workload was more or less same for the members of the society and they would engage themselves into these activities for the whole week but once the weekends arrived the weekends were supposed to be the time where they could relax and find leisure but the leisure cannot always be sought inside the house so they had to create some of the activities some ideas which would provide them with mediums of leisure and entertainment which could engage such a large number of free population so we come to the next heading saying leisure and consumption the method of entertainment was different for the different social sections as for the elite class because they had certain set of rules and regulations of conduct they looked for different ways of sophisticated ways of leisure as a result london season was witnessed which was a long festival which included several cultural events operas classical music theater performances etc and this was a very popular way of entertainment for the wealthy britishers as for the working or the middle class uh, pubs where they could sit and have a drink and relax and talk about all the happenings of the city became the prime attractions also for those who were interested in different arts libraries museums art galleries became the destination music halls also were very popular for the lower classes as we see in the later years the introduction of cinema also became the great mass entertainment for mixed audience both types uh, the elite as well as the working class people also showed their interest in spending their holidays by seaside and get some benefits of the sun and bracing winds so this is how we see that the people were looking for a medium of leisure and entertainment and the government plus the human workforces activities as well created their own mediums of leisure
in the next part we'll move on to a town or city in asia india bombay which is majorly popular with bollywood in the world but how bollywood emerged on a island city this we'll study in the next lecture thank you